What happens after the grid goes down? When society as we know it ends and our civilization enters another dark age, much of humanity might no longer be around to see it. But there are certain creatures here long before us who will probably be hanging out in the rubble of our world long after we've been gone. The Earth may not become a planet of the apes, but it'll definitely belong to the creatures you see here. So pay some respects as the hub introduces you because these indestructible animals could survive the apocalypse. And click on the subscribe button to continue journeying with the hub deeper into the future and the past. Cockroaches. They're the ultimate bottom feeders, but these critters have it in them to survive the harshest climates. To test claims that cockroaches can withstand nuclear fallout, Mythbusters exposed roaches to radiation of up to 10 times that of the atomic bombs dropped in 1945. While the test subjects exposed to that maximum level of radiation didn't make it, 10% of the cockroaches who felt radiation equivalent to a standard atomic bomb had survived. Scorpions They may be the most BEA animals alive, but their natural armor and venomous tails aren't just for show. Incredibly adaptable and around for millions of years, scorpions live in dry deserts, wet rainforests, and the tallest mountain peaks. This ability to survive in extremes extends to their metabolisms too. And when low on food supply, they can live on only one insect per year. And just like a caveman in the movies, they've even been known to freeze overnight and thaw out the next day. Water bears. Known as water bears, tardigrades may be like the husky water dwelling mammals from afar but their faces are altogether alien. Speaking of alien, tardigrades are so strong, they've been able to survive when placed in space. These microscopic monsters can live 30 years without any sustenance, and as they're usually found around deep sea ocean vents, they'd be far removed from an asteroid strike or a super volcano explosion. In fact, tardigrades will probably roam the earth until the sun stops shining. Red Flat Bark Beetles the red flat bark beetle sniffs out the warmest possible spot in the frigid Alaskan winters by nestling between damp dead bark and balsam poplar trees. Most other insects in the region can't handle anything lower than negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. By producing antifreeze proteins in their bodies, the heroes are able to handle even the coldest temperatures on Earth. The record, held by Antarctica, is negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit. But in experiments, these insects have sat comfortably in negative 238 degree heat. E. coli This rod-shaped bacteria is naturally involved in our digestion process, but virulent strains can cause major damage to the body, and the medical community might be inadvertently making it worse. The overuse of antibiotics is causing certain strains to develop resistance to drug treatment. In time, we might face some kind of superbug. For now, however, antibiotics are some of the best defenses against infection available. So if you're sick, you should consult your doctor without fear of a superpowered bacteria takeover. Mummy Chog. These tiny 15 centimeter long fish have an incredible way of adapting to changing environments, especially when their habitat on the east coast of North America is impacted by climate change. They have the ability to activate 498 different genes when moving between fresh and salt water, and also the power to acclimate to polluted water in short periods of time. When astronauts took mummy chogs to space, the fish grew accustomed to weightlessness while still in their eggs, and learned to move toward a gravitational pull if sunlight wasn't present. Linguli. Their name comes from the Latin word for tongue, lingulata, and the linguli uses its tongue-like exterior to burrow into the ground. The long tongue stalk extends from a hard shell encasing the creature's organs, and if you were to look at it from above, it appears as if it was just created by some scientists slapping three random body parts together. But this strange brachiopod has unheard of levels of resistance. Of the five major extinctions that impacted life of our planet, the lingula has survived all of them. Immortal Jellyfish Upon reaching old age, immortal jellyfish prefer not to die in their sleep. Instead, these amazing creatures retract their tentacles and shrink their bodies. Lowering themselves into the ocean floor, they start their life cycles over again, like a natural Benjamin Button. In fact, this rebirth is only interrupted if they've been eaten or afflicted by disease. Observed in labs, the immortal jellyfish have been known to repeat this process indefinitely. And like a sequel to Transformers, they may keep coming back forever. Himalayan Jumping Spider The Himalayan Jumping Spider is the true embodiment of an extremophile. 
Living at impossible heights of nearly 22,000 feet above sea level, these arachnids can survive at a higher altitude than any other species. While this location doesn't offer much food to eat, they can survive on insects if the wind blows their way. Thanks to nature's grub hub, they're happy where they are. Humans. Humans can't live long without food or water, but thanks to our brains, we've overcome many obstacles. Unfortunately, brains are exactly what zombies will want. Researchers at Leicester concluded that humans would only survive for 100 days in a zombie strike. Yet, a nuclear fallout or an asteroid or a famine or a plague would still yield enough survivors for us to eventually repopulate the Earth. We've been through some terrible times before, so who's to say we couldn't make it in the future? So, if you're looking to make it through your next natural or man-made disaster, you may need to start taking supplements and mutating your genes. Otherwise, you'll just be jealous of how these instructable animals could survive the apocalypse. Whatever happens, make sure you have Wi-Fi in your bunker so you can keep watching more videos from the hub.